What is a worm compost bin? What should it look like and how do we make one? Here's a good example of a simple worm compost bin. This is basically just two plastic paint buckets that are turned into a worm compost bin. We could use plastic bins that you purchase from a hardware store, make a worm composting bin out of that. Or you could purchase a bin like this one here. Or you could build a bin out of wood like this one here. This is built out of fence and four by four, very simple. The key to any good bin is light and drainage. Now worms are sensitive to light, so in, typically in most of our worm bins, we've got a nice tight seal on top. This purchased worm bin has a nice lid on it. In my outdoor homemade bin, my wood bin, I've got a piece of shade cloth that I pull over the top of the bin to shade the worms. Another thing we have to be concerned with when we do worm bins is drainage. In plastic buckets, that becomes more significant because they tend to get moist. So we're going to be drilling holes in the bottom of our plastic bin to allow the water to drain. In this purchased bin here, it actually has a cavity under here to collect the moisture and then the moisture can be drained off. In my wood bin, it doesn't become such an issue because the water, the moisture is actually going right through the bedding and into the ground. Size and type. It all depends on how much material you want to process. If you just want a tiny little bin, then something like this will suffice. A couple of people might need a bin like this. Or if you've got a family, maybe you need a larger bin. Again, plastic and wood, they both work the same. All our worm bins tend to be shallow. And they're shallow because worms are shallow feeders. They only feed in the first eight inches of the, typically, the, in, this, in this case, it's not soil, but leaf litter, because we're using red worms. When we're talking size, as far as a household goes, one square foot, one square foot of area here. set up with worms in a stable environment would process about a pound of food a week. So that might determine the size of our worm bin. 